love you, Mary Jane. Mary Jane. I'm in love with Mary Jane. She is my main thing. She make me feel all right. She make my heart sing. And when I'm feeling low, she comes with no surprise. Wraps me all in her love. Takes me to paradise. Do you love me, Mary Jane? Yeah, I had to do that with you. We got to start with this stuff in the field today. <laughs> Welcome to Thinker versus Speaker. I am Marissa the Thinker, and if you couldn't tell, we got a special guest in the building. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, yo, what's up, yo? I'm Trey from, I got my own cannabis brand. It's called My Girl. You can look me up on IG, Dre Dupree underscore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, okay, how'd you even get into that industry? Like, <laughs> Tell us a little bit about tell us a little bit about how you got into that. So was it like a hobby or Okay, so I've been smoking weed since forever here and there. I wasn't the biggest weed smoker, but I got off into it because I like I was telling you the other day I had diabetes and I wasn't trying to take like the metformin and the insulin was too strong for me. And once I started messing around with cannabis, I started taking my blood my uh, blood sugar down and all of that. So I really got off into it for my diabetes and actually cured it. With really? cannabis. So I, I've been stuck to it since then. And I like to tell the people I ain't hopping off the porch. I'm just walking down the steps. <laughs> okay. Okay. And like, so like you, you finding the healing properties of a, a weed, like was it by accident or was it kind of intentional? It was actually by accident. I was getting better results because like I say, I had neuropathy. Uh, I was blind, which I do still have like active, uh, like an active cataract in my right eye, but it ain't like it was, you know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. when I saw that the marijuana was like healing that, like making my, my vision better, it took the neuropathy away versus the pills that take the pain away for maybe an hour or two, then it come back worse, but the marijuana, once I started, some, uh, well, cannabis, I like to say, I'm <laughs> yeah. well, cannabis. <laughs> It was really taking the pain away for good. And then I seemed like, oh, I really don't have to take metformin. And I really don't have to take the insulin. My stomach ain't hurt no more. And then I got deep off into the meditation. And I came off into the black sea oils and uh, sour soap leaves, elderberry, sea moss, and stuff like that. I just cured myself with natural products that was from Mother Nature. That's why I call my brand my girl. OK, OK, because it, cause, cause, cause it's, uh, it's what helped you. Yeah, it's most definitely what helped me. <laughs> it was nothing you can buy over a counter. Every time I went, I was getting uh, pancreas disease. Like, it was terrible. I would burp and it smell like a sewer. I just didn't know what was going on. They'd give me the medicine. It, it did not work. Not at all. That's crazy. And, like, you're talking about, like, the el elderberry, sea moss, everything like that. See, I've heard about it, but I don't really know too much about it. You know, like, I know some people... I guess depending on what world you live in, you'd be like, well, what, what's science for? They got these medicines or whatever, but you know, sometimes that don't necessarily work for everybody. Right, right, but that was me, man. It's like the medicine part, that, like the prescriptions don't work for me at all. I knew that as a kid, I used to always say, why well, every time I say I'm getting the cold, once I give you the medicine, I get the damn cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I knew something was backwards. I'm like, yeah, I ain't messing with that. And it's like, for me, by me actually growing my own cannabis and everything, I I get to see the relationship we just got from plants and everything. So it's just like, it's cool. Like, this shit was here for us for a reason. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were kind of talking about that yesterday, like how, you know, as you start uh, meditating and getting becoming more spiritual, you learn how, you know, everything is connected. Like, you know, the things that we take for granted, like the plants and the animals and everything right. like that. And it really, if you can, you not, I don't want to say accept, cause you know, everybody ain't gonna accept no shit like that. But like, <laughs> but like, you know, like when you able to like acknowledge that there is a correlation between all of the things, like yeah. that's when you, that's when you get to experience like, really like the healing properties and how these things actually help you when you stop taking them for granted and really, you know, right. appreciate them for what they are and what they can do for you. 
Exactly. See, I be telling people this world is exotic and everything to put her in place intentionally. We just don't know what the hell be going on because we got TV and just distractions and we don't even know why we here half of the time. You don't know what you be going in your backyard to do with yourself versus going to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? People just yeah. have no idea. You ain't got to take that trip. You probably can go right to the backyard, dig some stuff out the ground and be cool in 30 minutes. Who knows? <laughs> Yo, okay. I, I say this all the time. I remember when I uh, started going to therapy, like at first I was scared to go to therapy because I was like, what if it's actually something wrong with me? Cause you know, like you'll get to Google and stuff. You'd be like, okay, so am I bipolar? Like, do I got uh, depression? Like what, what's up, what's wrong? And it's like, I go and it's just like, man, there wasn't nothing wrong with you. You just needed to learn some coping skills. You, need, <laughs> you, needed, to learn, you needed to learn some life skills or whatever. But like, sometimes like, this world to have you thinking it's something like you know incurable like you know what i'm saying like you gonna have to take medicine forever like it's no way for you to overcome this thing and it's just like actually it ain't even that you know what i'm saying yeah it might be the case for somebody else you know somebody might have a real imbalance that they can't really deal with but like that ain't everybody man look I'm telling you, I can't relate to that because remember, I right, so back when we were old Navy days, right? Yeah. Oh man, something was going on with me and I damn just before I knew I had diabetes, right? Uh-huh. This big old guy. I ain't know what was going on. I damn near kept on fainting at the job. So I used to run out to the back. I got the Googling stuff, the symptoms that said, Yeah, you got stage three cancer. Oh, I used to <laughs> I used to walk around the job looking sad, like, yeah, I'm gonna die any day, man. This fucked up. Everybody around <laughs> here living their good lives. <laughs> I'm like, this is fucked. This is really fucked up. Stage three cancer. I'm like, what have I came to? I am not fucking with Google no more. Bro, you can't. And that's so funny that you say that because I remember like back in them days too, it'd be like times where you just disappear. Be like, where's Dre? Where's Dre? Be like, oh, dude, don't nobody know. <laughs> 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 in the bathroom in the fitting room yeah, boo who went to myself like nigga stage three no man not stage three I'm like what's going on went to the hospital they said man you got you pre-diabetic and then I had got diabetic after that but I was cool right there I said hold on so it ain't cancer I ain't stage three I ain't checking out they was like you keep on eating like you eat you don't check out but yeah. I'm like but I got I got time though right I now I got a chance he said, yeah, I said, you'll never see me again. That motherfucker, you never see me again. I ain't come back there. Okay. Okay. It's crazy how you think about what people have going on behind the scenes and you don't even know nothing about it. Because, like, at the time, like, that's something that I wouldn't have even guessed. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, first mind goes to, like, oh, man, he just, you know, he, he, he just on some booze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? That's exactly what people will think. You know, that's their first thought. But it's just, like, people really be, like, going through stuff behind the scenes and won't be having no clue. All the time, I'm in the hospital every other week, trip. I wasn't telling nobody because I ain't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy to think about, you know? It's definitely crazy to think about. And not only that, it's just, like, what I find funny is when I think about um, people that I met in my life, like, where we were then versus where we are now. Right. Because, like, you know, back then like i was not who i am like right now at all like <laughs> at all i was shy i was reserved like i was trying to be something that i wasn't like trying to fit in with everybody you know what i'm saying like living not, through ego exactly right living through ego like making decisions based on my pride shit like that because mm-hmm. even when it came to me leaving old navy like and when i went to the dude like bro it was literally my pride like <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was dead ass my pride in hindsight because it was just like man i ain't finna let nobody sit up here get promoted over me when i know i'm the best motherfucker up in here right like, are you the best motherfucker up in here go to the dude then be like i right, i'd rather do that than listen to a motherfucker i know ain't better than me like you know what i'm saying like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was some wild times. Uh, wild, wild times. Yeah, and it's just crazy to see how you can just evolve past that. Like, you know, how life can take you through certain things and it changes you, you know, and matures you 
and it actually and like how things just come full circle in the end because mm. it's just like it's something that I would never expect like some of the people that you know now that I'm coming back around because we haven't spoken in years mm -hmm. for real you know what I'm saying and just to be able to come back around and have a conversation it's like oh shit we got some stuff in common like hold on wait a minute Man, you know? who you telling me? I just was saying that the other day. What was you doing in and now? Because I was sitting back and I watched the episode of Dr. Phil with one of our old Navy bosses on there. Tripping. That guy, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold on, this going on behind closed? I thought he was cool. Like, no, he, he was, was not. <laughs> I said, like, oh, he got a whole different type of problem. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, so it's like, damn, life is crazy. Yeah, it's definitely crazy, it, 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 and it, it, it just at the end of the day, it just all comes back around like full circle, full circle. Like it's crazy to imagine, like like even the things that led me even to doing a doing what it is that I do now is something that I never expected. I was talking um in one of the videos that I recorded before about like when I when I went to college, I thought I was gonna be an engineer. Like when I was in high school. You couldn't tell me I wouldn't go be no engineer, making all the fucking, making all the money, like, you know what I'm saying, doing all the things. And it's like, I went to college and like, was getting my head bumped, like, the whole way, the whole <laughs> the way, the whole way. time. Yeah, and it's just like, it's because that wasn't meant for me. You know what? That's how it was when, remember I used to say I was rapping all the time? Yeah, yeah, Lord knows that wasn't meant for me. The <laughs> shit that I used to rap about, like I could see the universe looking down, was like, "Not yet, little fella. You tripping? You ain't finna let you put this shit out in the earth. Like you got a better call and just wait till you taste this weed for real, nigga. Like, yeah, you you gonna change your whole perception? You out here tripping? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it, it, it it's so crazy how it worked like that because it's just like we were talking about it yesterday where it's like you look back and it's just like if I would have got what I wanted, mm -hmm. it was it wouldn't have happened the way that I thought. It would have been a whole different situation. I would have been sitting right here. Nah, I probably wouldn't have been sitting right here. <laughs> I know yeah. me because it, it, like nine times out of ten, I probably either would have had to still had the poor man mentality and I would have been broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I would have crashed out. Yeah. Okay. So I what? Uh -huh. I had an ego. Like you couldn't tell me shit. Like, yo, them egos ain't nothing to play with. Like, I still don't like being told what to do sometimes <laughs> at, at, at all. <clears throat> but like, when you say poor man's mentality, let's like break down what that means. Like for the people that don't really understand, what you mean by the poor man's mentality? like get money don't know how to invest it they just only solely know how to spend it real fast on things that don't mean them anything you can't make money off anything you just bought you just getting it and wasting it don't know how to multiply it or nothing you just sitting there ain't learning nothing ain't building ain't creating you got money for absolutely nothing you ever saw how a person hit the lottery and be broke the next year because mm -hmm. they didn't get their mentality right you can have all the money in the world but if you ain't got the right mind frame it don't mean shit it don't and it I had the words. <laughs> I'm talking. Everything was bling bling foul. Like, you know why the niggas got all the bling bling foul? Half of it's because it's fake. And if they do got it, they uh, they got enough money to where they don't mean nothing to them. Like, yeah. They got their minds right. Like, I, me, I just know me. I'd have spent my first check. It'd have been a million. I want a Lamborghini. And then, damn, hold on, you got a Lamborghini. What, what you gonna do with that? <laughs> what you gonna live in? Shit, give me a hug. I can't <laughs> enough for a mansion now, nah, nigga. Uh, nah. I know. Nah, you know what I'm saying? By the time you buy the Lamborghini, you 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 still gotta stay in an apartment when you saw all said and done. Like, oh, it's over. That money is spent. That is gone. Oh, and, man. Yeah. Investing in the wrong stuff. Bust down everything. Can't get full price for it unless you got, like, flawless or VVS. Like, a lot of people... There's a lot of stuff to a lot of stuff that I didn't know that I'm glad that I had to kind of gradually learn. Because if I didn't, the, the lifestyle that I'm stepping into would have meant me nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm, I'm starting to learn that's kind of like the definition of trust in the process. Because, I mean, a lot of people just don't have the patience for, yes, that's for what's started, required. I learned all of that when I started growing cannabis. I say, I planted the seed, and now what? Uh, time? 
patient, sit there, nurture, just like you do a kid and everything else. Matter of fact, while that's growing, since you want to get your body right, you need to start going working out too. And by the time it go to flower, your body be a little bit better. Now three months done pass. Now you starting on another nice harvesting. Now you look a little bit better. Now you go do it again. Mm-hmm. But they work with everything in life. It's a time where you plant the seed and it's a time where you get the harvest. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes we want stuff so fast and it's just like it's so many lessons that can be learned in that quiet time that you know what I'm saying it's gonna help better you for where it is that you're trying to go Mm -hmm. sometimes you gotta be grateful for the lessons because that you know what I'm saying when when you think about people that are rich and successful like they know things that we didn't know at one point in time and they learned it by going through this process you can't skip the process skipping the process is exactly what's gonna get you crashed out somewhere like, exactly. That's what people don't know. You get something too fast. Now you moving how you ain't supposed to be moving. But if you would have waited and would have learned X, Y, Z, by the time you obtain what you truly want, you know how to move. You know how to everything. Because mm-hmm. I be watching like God rest these people's souls, like uh, the rappers and everything. They be getting like ambushed and like locations be on. It's like hold on, bro. It's like fuck like it's a lot to come with what they got going on they just should have learned a little bit more you know what i'm saying yeah yeah absolutely you know what i'm saying and then sometimes it's the stuff that matters don't even matter no more you know what i'm saying where you think about certain things where it's just like you know on on, on the internet and stuff i don't want people to know where i'm at it's exact. it's a it be a reason because like by the time you by the time you deal with certain people be like man i like being ducked off you know what i'm saying <laughs> Where in the beginning you could have liked having attention, it was feeding that ego. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to know, where, you wanted people to know where you at, what you was doing, and all that kind of stuff. You wanted to have all your chains on, all your jewelry, all your money hanging out of your pocket, and everything like that. But what does it actually do for you? Nothing. That's all ego-based bullshit. Like ego, 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 ego-driven. Like I get it. Everybody young. And- want to have a little fun but i'm just glad i didn't have that type of fun when i was that young yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was when i say no man i would walk around with shit that nobody else be like a uh, think uh, to do because i just thought i was that third like nah, I'm gonna kill gorillas bro like yeah <laughs> you ain't got nothing coming like I, i'm glad don't get yeah. him no money he was yeah. sitting on people couches and everything <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like, you know, who is it even for? Who are you trying to validate this to? Everybody yeah. else that's lost just like us. Because we can't tell ourselves I'm good enough with or without it. It don't mean me nothing no more. I'm at the point now where I just want to teach other people and kind of pass stuff on because there's a lot in life that it don't gotta be that complex, man. Like, just calm down <laughs> and let it flow. Get in flow state. A lot of people don't know nothing about flow state. Nah, nah. Even for me, that's a new concept. I, I literally, uh, I was praying earlier uh, about it, like journaling, because one of my methods, I, I journal a lot. I write, I write my stuff out, and like, it's getting into an energy of just allowing, because. You know, once you learn how to be calm and just be okay with how things are, it's a good feeling. Yep. It's it's a good feeling to not be worried about what's next or what's the next deal and what's the next challenge and what's the next whatever. You just you just Detachment. going with the flow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And just allow <laughs> allowing things to just be what they are and not having to fear it. It's just like I like I if it ain't here then it's not meant for me if it's meant for me I'll have it when it's time to have it and I I don't have to rush it I don't have to fear new opportunities I don't have to fear the unknown like I'm gonna just let it ride out because at the end of the day like I'm gonna be okay okay we always okay the chosen was always okay look look at it like this like we were just talking yesterday Mm -hmm. people that's chosen that's who I'm talking to you and anybody that's listening to this because chosen was all went through the same shit how many times you've been in sticky situations that other people just don't make it out of that you did yeah <laughs> it's always yeah. okay always it's never, it, we made shit the hardest it be is in our head period 
and I got that bad, I'd get around somebody and get to thinking too fast. I remember I went to somebody's uh, event, right? Uh-huh. It was a three-day event. The first day, I didn't go. The second day I came, somebody had pulled out a camera like, yo, shit, where were you at yesterday? I'm like, oh, I ain't, I ain't come yesterday. And they was like, uh, well, quickly, uh, just say where you at and what you doing. And I, I ain't have it in me to just be like, yeah, I'm in such and such. We doing such and such because I wasn't there yesterday. I actually didn't know nothing. So I felt like I was capping, I was caught in words, and I looked right at him I'm like, hey, delete that, I don't really earn much like that. <laughs> I, did, I like being natural with it, it's like, damn, I want to know who y'all is, I don't want to hop on this and just be like, talking like, it don't, it don't do nothing for me, like, if right. I'm going to say I'm with good people, I need to know you're good, like, I'm really, I don't want to just be all word feeling. Yeah, yeah. I ain't and, a captain, but by the end of that, them, them couple days, I was, you know, good, good ass people. I can do it now. It's more comfortable. But at first, when you catch me, uh, my brain is like Kawhi Leonard laugh. I'm like, <laughs> 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 hold on, wait. I wasn't ready. Let me do that er, again. Oh. <laughs> Let me do that again. Er, even when you hit me the other day, like, you want to do, I was like, oh. Shit, but I'm like, I got my own little laugh show. I do every Thursday. Like, get over it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, you a star see Like, whatever you got to do for what you got to do for your your cycle to change, your generation curses to be over, you the one. So get up out of it. Bro. That's a good thing. <laughs> and then it's, it, it's weird because the people that really know me, like the old me with ego, I was loud, playful. Uh, stuff like that so and then I hopped out of ego it's all awkward to me like I got on Facebook and was cringe and I'm like delete all this shit like, <laughs> Yo. I was like I said that that was me oh nah this ain't even me no more like this ain't even me no more I was even listening to stuff from like the beginning days of the podcast and be like damn you was hurt huh <laughs> 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 going through are you okay you need a hug like damn like you know what I mean he ain't even gotta be like that but you know what I'm saying emotional intelligence is the best shit I ever learned yeah <laughs> yeah definitely definitely because the the for me self aware of self awareness was lacking like self awareness and, and emotional intelligence you know what I'm saying like being able to like not only anticipate my needs but the needs of other people too and just like what's going on around me and like you know being able to understand my feelings and therefore understand like what somebody else is going through or what they could be dealing with right. the things that are unspoken you know what i'm saying I like i generally like when i learned it like at first i was i didn't know what it was and how deep it can be like Anything that I think bad happened to me now with my emotional intelligence, I just sit back, get in flow state, and I watch whatever I wanted real bad. If I would have stayed, I see how it would have been terrible because a lot of bullshit done took place with who that was or what that was. Like, oh, it's mm -hmm. better for me not even been with them or had that specific thing because it's a whole lot of bullshit that came with it that ain't even for me. It's like it get me out of jail and I don't look at it like that at the time. But now I just sit back and be like, oh, it's a reason that ain't happening for me. It's something better. And whatever the fuck that is got going on, it ain't long. It ain't going to last. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's almost like getting out of that victim mentality. Mm-hmm. Like, why did... works for me. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not to me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that, that's that mentality that keeps you stuck in place. That's that, that one that has you still looking back like, damn, I wanted this to work out for me. I'm supposed to be here right now. I'm supposed to be doing this. Nah, I wanted to be with that person. It's just nah, like, nah, that wasn't for you. Fuck that. I'm player one. I'm player one. I'm the main character. So whatever the fuck ain't going on in my head, man, I'm the star of this motherfucker. So whatever going bad is for a reason. And I'm going to come out on top anyways. I'm going to experience everything that I've seen that I want to. Cause I wouldn't have been born in a place like that for me not to experience shit that I'm attracted to. It's pointless. It's it's obsolete to me. Like if anybody else around me crashing and burning, I guess they're just on them. But I'm mm -hmm. seeing this through my two two eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's my own little journey. So I don't know what the fuck going on around me. All I know is all oh, this shit meant for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If something don't happen, I'll be like, oh well, see you later. And like, you gon' see. Like it's a little different. 
Yeah, it, that's a very good way to put it. Like, I am the main character in this game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when it look like I'm out of lives, I'm not. Like, I'm not out of lives until guys say I'm out of lives. We just gonna start this game over. Like, for real. That's it. Like, meditating got me weird. I go to the quantum field and I know everything here ain't even made unless it start there. Man, I go to there, I be groovy, chilling. I asked up projecting, talking to entities. Man, I, I go there and have more fun and here come here. And if something go wrong, I'd be like, yeah, that man, I'm good. Like, I don't even take it to heart. Yeah. Nothing. Anything I don't know with my man that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn it. But I'm going to be a fucking professional with it. Simple. Simple. All you got to do is learn. I got in the rhythm of learning late, but I got into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I watch the month. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, you got it. Now, I was just saying, like, I can watch somebody do Taekwondo and be like, okay, it's a it's a method to that, though. And I look the method up and sit and do it and be like, oh, it's rather easy. It's just a lot of people don't know that these little methods that you got to do. Like, I taught myself how to get myself a for real lion in the other day because I kept on saying, I can't never get my size. I said, but there's a method to that. <laughs> and I went to go <laughs> look up the damn method. I went right in the bathroom, even with my bad eyes. And gave myself a real. I said, "That's all the fuck I had to do all these years. Yeah, all these years, I just didn't read. You want to hide it from somebody? Just put it in the book. The true shit out. For, that's real. That's real because the knowledge is out there. It's just a matter of going to find it. Period. Like you know what I'm saying? If you not, if you 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 got to go find it. It's not coming to you. It's it's not finna come to you. Like you know what I'm saying? Anything that you want. We said this yesterday. Anything that you want, if you waiting on somebody to drop it off to you, it's not mm-hmm. coming. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not coming. And the whole time you sitting up here mad, like, damn, why am I not getting what? It's because you ain't went to go find it. Right. Fuck that. We like to see you moving. And like, even if you ain't putting in the, what you what, what's going on over here, we still want to see you moving some type of way. Nigga, don't mean, don't give up. People just be, mm, that ain't for me. I'm going to find something to keep moving like a target. I, I just can't stop at this point. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? I had to I had to learn, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I, I, I love victim mentality. I loved it. I, I lived it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why me? Why God? Yeah, yeah. Why I have to be me? Why why can't I ever get what I want? You know what I'm saying? Why can't I ever get what I want? When is somebody going to come give me what I need? And it was like, it, it ain't coming because you the one that's supposed to give it to yourself. That's like, why I ain't never came. Like a month, and when you chosen, have you noticed how easy shit come to you now? And all you had to do is just start. Yeah. And all the time I was trying to rap, this is my life now. People see me for the cannabis. The cannabis bring people together. I'm talking about the wildest people like me now. So, and then as we talking, they like, oh man, you such an inspiration. In my head, I'd be like, me? Because, you know what I'm saying? Just like, what the fuck? That's how, in my head, that's just how I am. Yeah. So, then they go ran and ran, and then they were like, oh, bro, you used to rap too. Then they hit me rap, and you're like, you was hard. You done with that, bro? You can go here. I'm like, man, when I was doing this, ain't nobody. Man, stop talking. <laughs> you shut the fuck up talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't meant for you then. Like, and but that's it, what's, yeah. it's weird, because it's everything that I, that I don't want to do now, it just pop. And it's just like, hold on, wait, like, why when I was out here trying, I was like, okay, so the more you want, the more you lack. I genuinely don't even be wanting for shit no more because it don't mean me nothing. And all the little ego-driven shit that's becoming, and now it's me just like, uh-uh, I'm cool. <laughs> I, I get past it. Like, I'd be like, damn, is this really me? Like, am I a different person? Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. It, it, a mindset is like where age is. It ain't got nothing to do with the number. I'm telling you, because even now I feel like a little kid. I feel like a little kid. Like, I'm doing things that I never even saw myself doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Getting out here doing this podcast, it'd be like, huh? Like, like what? You used to be shy. How are you even doing this? You know what I'm saying? And even then, going from, like, a person that was on it to, like, the person that's, like, headed it, it's just like, oh, so I got to, okay, all right. So now you're taking it to another level. It's just like, then I started journaling and stuff. It's just like, oh, you can write? Okay, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's another thing. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? It go from writing. It's like, oh, shit, did you just write a poem? Like, 
you know how to do that? Like, huh? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then before you know it, like, you just tapping into all these different gifts that God gave you. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And they Man. yours, you know what I'm saying? They they yours. Like even back then when you was rapping, it was still your talent. It just wasn't the time. Right. See what happened was the ego, right? Mm. And I had all this ego. What I saw myself doing right now was if I was doing an interview, this would have been like me. Yo, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I already know what the fuck going on. J- whatever rap name I had, I'm just pop. I would have been popping dick shit and da da da. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. There was, there was a universe of like this. No, no. He, he will go really go be me like this motherfucker is wild, bro. So what happened was, I got the the di- diabetes and it broke me all the way down. It had to teach me empathy. When I lost mm. my eyesight, I couldn't. Ah, uh, that's good because I still barely can see certain things. Like I can't read from far. Like it, I, I feel kind of handicapped in a sense sometimes when people be looking at me like, "Man, your face look mad." Man, I am perfectly fine. I just, <laughs> I'm gonna look blind. Mind your, mind your business. Mind your fucking business. I can't see it. But it's like God broke me all the way down. So now when I'm coming back up, because I'm over it, so I'm mm. just, I'm more empathetic to other people now. So it's just like. Uh, you know, it, it don't mean that. So now as I'm coming up, I feel more for everybody else in the world that's going through something. Because what I went through, it took me through the motions of going through all type of shit. Like, I done been big, big. I done been blind. I done had neuropathy, legs hurt, hunched over. I done been, every, look, homeless. Everything that a person get laughed at, I heard. Mm-hmm. I'm not genuinely on that shit no more. I ain't no ego for, ain't nothing like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing like that going on with me no more. So before I was ever gonna get my blessing, I had to go through life for real. Yeah, I had to understand things, nigga. Like that, uh, he really can't see for real no more. Like, yeah, because when I was blind, blind, ah, uh, that was rip, Marissa. Yeah, <laughs> I was just, I was snoozing one day. I almost cried. I said, "Why the fuck am I here? I don't know what nothing at. I don't know what I'm looking for. I know I want chicken." I said, "That's my problem now. I'm eating fucking dead, expecting to live. Now I need some fruit. Where the fruit at? Sniff. I'm like, man, this is bad. Yeah. Like, did I just go blind? So for a minute, I wanted to give up on life. But I always said, man, I'm a little different, man. I'm a little different. This, I always get into something and can laugh at it later. I'm uh-huh. like, nah, I'm gonna figure some shit out. Sat there, smoking and shit." And meditations, things just come to me. It's like downloads. It's like we already got all the information in us. We don't need to go nowhere for it. Mm-hmm. Then I get these bright ass ideas. That's where shit come from. I'm like, boom, I get a bright idea. Take some uh, bladder racks and sour soap leaves. Some, eat you some curds here and there. Even though I'm, I don't like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just going yeah. to eat, eat some beets here and there. I'm like, I, I don't like beef, but I'm doing it a little bit. But once my eyes started coming back better and it just started looking like cloudy vision. Oh, uh-huh. I'm, you was like, I'm going to eat these goddamn carrots now. <laughs> I'm going to get to surgery when I get to surgery. But man, hold up. It's just cloudy vision now because I was like out of there. Like my mom, I was so scared to tell my people, I'm just driving with one eye and seeing a real little squint through that. It's like I had a bit. I mean, I got a business partner. We was out in Tampa. I'm driving and I'm telling them, I'm like, I don't know how to drive. And we were just going to this spot, all of us was. And I'm like, man, look, I'm telling you, at night, my eyes not right. Because <laughs> yeah. if the other lights hit me, it's going to go right to the back because I got an active right. cataract. And I move so efficient and so cool throughout the day. Genuinely, it think it is saying like, man, this nigga is lame. Like, nah, I, I just hold my own good, all right? Yeah, I ain't, no I ain't never been one of those. Like, yeah, it's like I ain't, I ain't finna let it keep me down. But I got behind the wheel. Oh man, they all in clutch. Oh, what's wrong with him? I'm, I'm driving through half of a little tunnel vision down here. I, we gonna get there though. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at the white lines and the light. Like, Come on, gonna make this shit work. <laughs> let me know the exit and turn her up. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. I told y'all. Like y'all don't listen to me. But it's like, but now it's like, yeah, it's better though, a lot better. Especially when I was like big and I was like tired and shit all the time. Yeah. Your so energy, it's like, black sea oil, uh, sea moss, energy be through the roof. Getting up, doing push-ups, want to dance and shit for no reason. Like, this is wild. 
the metformin and all that did none of that to me. It kept me down, keep me broken down. Even when you take the medications, you would think you feel a little better. You just, nah, you just ain't got frequent urination. Your, your mouth ain't dry no more. But you lose an unnecessary like weight for no reason, and, and it ain't healthy. Like that was the biggest thing I didn't want to do. End up with the flab skin. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Because yeah. because yeah. because we sit up like my family, like my total family is like heavier, but we still funny. So we used to sit up and watch like six hundred pound life and be like, Nah, look at this shit here. Nah, uh huh. You need my this family too. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I think that metformin drops some weight off of me. I said, "Did you do little motherfucker?" Like, I ain't finna have no flat. I start running, doing push up. I, I just start, I put it to the side. I'm like, "Nah, it's gonna come out, but it's gonna come out by me." You ain't finna have me around here looking like a rag, like not at yeah. all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's, that's what it, it scared me. It's in my mind again. That's it wasn't nothing but the universe laughing. Like I'm gonna scare him a little bit with it because I already know what he gonna what he gonna do once he see it a little bit. Like he ain't gonna let it happen. Yeah, it's like just trust in me at that point because you know, like I say, we all guide. So the universe said we finna find the inner guy this higher self now because he ain't gonna go for it. Like the fuck I see my mom and my daddy, teeth falling out, completely losing little vision, and they hunching over like that can really be me. Then my auntie died at like 35, I want to believe, mm-hmm. and she looked at like like she was in her 90s, and that hurt me. Like nah, you know what I'm saying? That was like one of my favorite. Auntie, because she was so young, like right. us. It's just like, hold on, diabetes did that to her? Like, nah, I got to figure some shit out, bro. Because yeah. I can't be like that because I think they were taking their medicine and it was constantly breaking them down. Like, yeah, fuck that. Fuck yeah I'm, sometimes all medicine does is make you just need more medicine. I shot myself with some insulin like a cracker. I never again. I said, no. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't find them putting a needle in my skin like yeah yeah it get it gets scary when it come when it come down to them times and i said man i mean i had to be like 27 at the time like i'm in the kitchen and i it was an insulin bottle in there and i you know i had the needle and i'm putting it in my side i'm like nah fuck this ain't my life i'm no put this shit back in the ice box and throw it away we finna find some other shit to do and I had to find it because for a minute I kept on having like these cramps up and I needed like potassium and shit, mm-hmm. eating bananas. And I had to re-figure out my body, what worked for me because it most definitely wasn't finna be that medicine because before I took the medicine, certain things wouldn't happen. But when I took it, certain things started to happen. And if I, and I knew that if I kept taking it, it was gonna get worse. Mm-hmm. I was going. Somebody put weed in my hand. I don't know how I got there. It dropped and I was smoking. I got to thinking I got here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, it, it's crazy, too. It makes me curious. Like, what was that like? Because when, when you were going through these things, like, we are still pretty young, but, like, you were young. So what's it like to be in that position? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, diabetes is definitely something that, you know, they say it all the time. It's incurable. You know what I'm saying? And to be going blind, like, what is that even like? Like, what is going through your head? And then, like, how the hell do you even come up out of that? Like, because I know that's the type of stuff that'll, like, break people down, like, for real, and have them, like, not want to go for work. I'm going to be honest with you. It was scary at first. But then I stopped giving a fuck because I knew it wasn't for me. Like, I know my life. I know the type of person I am. I know the intentions I put in the earth, and I know what I, everything I want to experience. I just don't see me going out right now. I don't see me, like, I did, like even as I was going blind, I always tell myself, how many things look bad and up? I'm laughing at it. Like, man, I, I straight was tripping over that. Like, it always happened. So I'm like, I'm going I'm to I'm go blind and I'm going to have this neuropathy. I'm going to be fucked up for a minute, but I bet I figure out some shit that's going to dig me out this hole. I always do. I always mm-hmm. will. That's why when shit happen to me, I don't, I'm not never mad at the person. I'm not mad at the situation. I'm going to go find me something to smile at. Like, I'm cool. Like, ain't right. no sense of wasting my time. That's my time. Hang being mad about something that ain't. Nah, I'm straight. That's why a person can uh, go marry me one day and divorce me the next. He'd be like, "That's on them. That's on their body. I'm cool. I'm, 
is life working for me some type of way? Who knows? That motherfucker might be doing some shit and they might, somebody might ambush them and blow their ass up. Not just him. Ain't right. supposed to be around them. Like, I'm cool. God knows stuff that happens. Uh, where you, you know, that, that's why I tell myself all the time. God knows stuff that happens when you ain't there. They, they they know people intentions. They know everything. So if something got to go, then he know why. I don't have to know. I'm telling you, because, like, prime example, it was a certain situation. I had some 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 people who they was like, you want to do something? At first, I was like, yeah. Then I thought about it. I was like, nah. So, boom, they did it. They got away with it. I said, fuck, I should have did it. And then they got caught. I said, yeah. oh. I should have oh. done that. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah. But but was crazy. They still locked down for it, right? Uh-huh. And, um, I usually do every. I usually just say, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. But this particular time, it was something in me, and it came from a movie, and it was like, nah, I ain't with that, and I, I wasn't with it, and it got away, and then I was a little salty because it was a, some life changing type shit, and then. It, they life definitely it, it definitely would have been life changing for me right now like yeah <laughs> they got caught like oh my goodness yeah yeah it's crazy how things work like that you know what I'm saying and it's just like when you can think back to times like that it's just like I really must be chosen because I be getting out of some 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 situations unscathed like you know what I'm saying like I might have got a little uh I got got a little whooping from God but you know what I'm saying it ain't nothing like what it could have been it ain't nothing like I look at it like this the universe is like our parents mm-hmm. and like you gotta obey it in the same manner as you want your kids to obey you and know what's right and what's wrong so I just step back even the shit that I, I don't want to do I be like it's a reason that I'm not supposed to be doing this and I need to just listen you know what I'm saying right just like I was looking at something and the dude had his son in a, a ice cream place and his son had a scoop of ice cream and he gave he bought him a scoop of ice cream in my bag and the kid dropped it he get to crying oh man daddy I'm I, I dropped the ice cream. They're like, that's cool. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to get you another one. We're going to get you another one. And then as he get him another one, he seen another one with two scoops. He like, no, daddy, let me get the one with two scoops. And he didn't get him one with two scoops. And the kid ain't understanding. He was like, you got to show me you can handle the one with one scoop before I get you the one with two scoops. And I start understanding <laughs> the universe right then. I said, man, look, that's crazy because... I be I, sometimes I ask for more than I'm supposed to have, but the universe will be looking out for me like now. Nah, you see, you you a little chosen, bro. So I ain't gonna give it to you. I will give it to somebody else and let you watch the outcome of them. Mm-hmm. So you can probably see from your own for your own self. Cause uh, if I give it to you, you you done for. And I understand that sometimes it's better to not get everything you want when you want it. Mm-hmm. I'm it, cool on all of that. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's okay to be a, a kid in that kind of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather I'd rather walk around knowing that I have some type of protection, like somebody that's looking out for me that's, uh, that I can't see that is, is still making sure that I'm not making certain mistakes and keeping me out of certain situations. Like, I find peace in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what makes it easy for me to be spiritual. Like, I didn't, um, I, like, for the longest time, like, people didn't even think that I believed in God I don't know why but like I I grew up in church and everything but it was just like you know like I like girls so you know what I'm saying it's already a conflict of interest right there because it's just like if I listen to what you know people say you know what I mean then right obviously I'm wrong and it's just like if I know God the way that I know God I know God wouldn't create me to hate myself so it's mm. just like I think I need to find my own relationship with God. I think that's what I need to do. Well, it God. most definitely ain't gonna be in the book because it's too many creatures out here that can't even comprehend that motherfucker. You talking about some, it's this way, yeah. You talking about a bunch of fucking humans too. Like it ain't a bunch of shit else out here. Like that's why I don't even find yo. Like that's why I'm spiritual because I'm not gonna get off into that. It's like you know a girl stopped talking. <laughs> a girl was like. She actually and we knew each other for like years and she know me, but I had to laugh a little bit because she off in the church. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and she like was like, uh, Jesus is your Lord and Savior. I'm like, man, he cool. I understand the story, but like, she like, huh? I'm like, 
he was a good guy. Like he just didn't. He wasn't. He just like me, you, and the rest of us that don't go for the bullshit. And he wasn't just gonna <laughs> bow down to people when they hated that. And they Some people ain't gonna like that, but I mean, I'm with you. And saying. they killed him because he yeah. didn't go for the bullshit. Just like me, you, and everybody else. We know he like he liked the every conscious thing out here. Like he had love for people. He wasn't too much. You know what I'm saying? He was laid back, chill. Yeah, I think it's fucked up they killed him. I'm she looking at me like, whoa, wait, you, this is. No, the fuck, like, you think Mary, no, she was lying. Ain't no, no, come on, this weird ass story, and ain't never happened again, and we ain't got no proof of this, this just happened somewhere over Israel, and then we gotta live over in America and die by this shit, like, nah. What I'm saying is, the story about him is good for what he depicted, but the Bible version, like, I'm not with it, baby, like, do you believe in God, though? I believe in a source. The God in the book, though, is too small to be the God that I'm talking about. If that makes any sense. Oh, it makes sense. It makes it's sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, see, the thing that's tricky with me and religion is just like, you can't. It, it's hard for me to believe in something that's been touched by man time and time and time again. Like, New I Testament. feel. Okay. Like, where the it's, fuck that come out and where did he come down there to tell y'all? Y'all ain't give us a story on that. Give me that scoop. All right. <laughs> and it, and you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, my, my belief is that, you know, the, the, the key to all religions, regardless of what you believe in, even spirituality is to be a good person and do good unto other people. Like, it's that's mirror the main work. point. It's mirror work. Like, man, just set good intentions man like it's we are like, confused and these motherfuckers to be talking about some that ate an apple nah look even in y'all book they ain't say what the hell it was it's not y'all confused y'all ain't heard of metaphors <laughs> you know what I'm saying y'all ain't never heard of metaphors you know what I'm saying they Think said a forbidden fruit they said <laughs> apple I said they go <laughs> and one thing like i'm not even trying to like laugh at religion or whatever but it's just like when you think about it in a bigger picture right you know what i'm saying like, even these stories it's like stories of chosen ones not even trying to be funny right. and I, i'm not discrediting and religion too. it's just stories of chosen ones you think about think about noah right no noah's art god came to noah and it's like hey i need you to build this art Cause I'm finna put this flood through. Some stuff gotta go. We gotta wipe this shit out. You don't think Noah was a regular person that was just living his life and it's just like, like, hold on, you, wait, huh? What? Like you, me, you like man? What? what? That's what it came when they told me about when I started growing cannabis. I'm like, what? Me? Hold on, wait. I know how to grow some fucking weed, like from sea. Hold on, and this shit is good. And I got off into it. I'm like, hold on, run a business. Me, bro, wait. Me? Huh? The same motherfucker couldn't grasp a, uh, a paycheck to paycheck. Like, we're talking about running business. You don't have to line up numbers, nothing. You want to learn what to spend it on, invest in, how to flip. Like, hold on, wait, me? So, yeah, I get it. But yeah. I laughed at that Noah shit again when I was a kid. I got kicked out one of the classes because I got to uh, ask her. So, he had every animal in the world on this boat and they wasn't fighting. And how he get like here? So he had birds, bees, lions, tigers, jaguars. The funny thing we don't know about, boy, they was ready to kick me out. And I'm a little with that point, too. I just, <laughs> you just ain't finna tell me something you can't explain to me. Like, for real, like, you ain't ever heard, like, you know, not, I'm not trying to call the Bible old wild tales, but I mean, I mean, like, it's, it's like stories that you tell little kids with a moral. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you tell this story with a moral. Right. And like we talking about stories that have been passed down from like centuries. <laughs> centuries. So it's just like, you know, like man has touched these stories time and time again. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? You want me to believe your interpretation? That's what I'm saying. Like I can write I can write my story right now. And I still can't one hundred percent tell you all this. I be forgetting some of the shit. Mm -hmm. If somebody say that's your mama, can you tell your mama's story? Uh, no, I wasn't around her. I could tell you probably stuff I know when I came home. I don't yeah. know, like I didn't what, like I don't know, bro. Like and all you saying is that's his mom. He does know the truth. No, no, the fuck you don't. No. He's making up shit too, like. And you want me to keep believing this weird ass stuff like it's a run on after I get it. It's like there's gems in it that's good. Go for it. And I, I'm not against people that's religion because I believe anything that's 
for the better of the good, the good intention, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Just don't be putting that, don't be all acting evil to other people for them. Because I'm spiritual. See, I won't act evil because you believe in what you believe in. Just don't put it off on me. But the Christians will judge us. I don't judge. That's what I'm saying. I don't get it. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, hold on. Y'all don't see no flaws in the shit that y'all talking about. Like, that's a little devilish for you. Like, you, mad. <laughs> that, you know, that's a, a devil of emotion. You mad like, at that. Even the Bible is telling you to accept people, but you, huh? Like, if you, it's, if you honestly think the source of just put some hurt and just have you reaping in hell for eternity over something that you was confused about since birth, you was a fool. Like, Nah, this is just like an obstacle course of learning. Like, this shit here is, man, it's a whole, this like the pregame for the big show. If people down here tripping, you think that we got this whole guy that's, it's an unlimited being, right? It's us to the highest ability. Um, You think that it got rules like no thinking, no talking, no, <laughs> What? Why would we even be us if we ain't can't be entitled to do absolutely nothing but like none this type shit? Like, yeah, whatever. That's just human made. They make it, they depict them like a boss and a job. And I, I hate that. Yeah, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? I see I see God as like a father. You know what I'm saying? I see God as like a father, a mother, you know what I'm saying? It's the creator. It's it is where we come from. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if that's the person that created you, you don't think the person that created you loved you, loves you, is gonna understand you when you make mistakes, is 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 there to help guide you and point you in the right direction, is gonna punish you when you need to be punished and reward you when it's time to be rewarded. Man, it that's what I'm saying. Like I just like the Christians and religions, if some people bad, they say that's why they're going to burn in hell to go to some, some forever. Me, I'm spiritual. I be like, that motherfucker got a young soul. They just gonna keep getting real coronated till they get this shit right. Like, that's just how I think about it. It ain't, I, I, I don't, that's on them. They just a young soul at this point. Maybe it's up to them to keep coming back to this motherfucker. That ain't on me because it ain't mine. Yeah. How you think we learn? We have to go through things in order to learn. You have to have certain experiences in order to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I think some right. people get so scared of uh, making mistakes or how people are going to view the things it is that they do, that they scared to live life. And they want to project that fear onto other people. It's just like, this is how I choose to live. So therefore, you must choose how I choose to live this way. If you, like, it's just like, hold on, wait. You, you, do you hear yourself? Man, that's what I be saying. If we were live one way, we all just been one motherfucker. We wouldn't be doing this experience. Period. It wouldn't, that's the concept to have an experience, to, to learn what you like. This motherfucker like, I like grape soda. There's somebody, my, my, my business partner hate grape flavor stuff. We, I can't, my my input on it was, I love it. It's, you ask me, it's one of the best flavors in the world. But yeah. this this person's perceptive is totally different. Nah, 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 nah. Do I supposed to hate this motherfucker because they don't like the same flavor? No. Nah. Yeah, this ain't that cup of tea. Yeah, I was saying I was saying this uh, yesterday because it's just like I used to smoke heavy, like I used to smoke a lot, but I was smoking to like not feel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was the that was the intention behind me smoking. The intention was to not feel anything. It wasn't for no 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 benefit other than that. So you know what I'm saying? For me, it, it's not something that I could use. I can't wake up and smoke and. and, and and still be okay you know what i'm saying when i'm using it that way i'm not getting the results that i need as a person so you know what i'm saying even though it don't work for me that way you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna knock the next person that can smoke all day because i done been around people who can smoke all day and still be productive right that's not me. <laughs> right. i think that's the beauty of life <laughs> if we was all intended to be the same way my fucking woman she shouldn't even need to be in relationships with people because you don't need to learn nobody because we are just one motherfucker. Like, right. I like what? learning new things from different people. Like, like one why way. even be here if we all meant to be the same? What's the point of this whole this whole thing if we meant to be the same living one way? And that's what I'm saying. Then they give you this in this little Bible, right? But they don't teach you all the other stuff like that come with life. Teach me the actual Jews of life. Quit telling me these fucking stories, please. 
what do I do in these type of sticky situations? And how do I learn how to do this, this, and that? And if my passion is this, how do I get to it? You telling me about some shit that I just, just it's like a soap opera at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's cool if I want to know the story, but I can literally look at that shit on movies at this point now. It's yes. the same shit. Yeah. But what's the big picture? It'd be like the same story in different ways. It's like they they're gonna always throw the gems in your face. Dip like I like I try to show my daughter like look at the kids' problems on the shows that you like to watch. Ain't that the same shit you get in trouble for? Mm-hmm. It's showing you not to do it, but you're so enticed to get off into it. It's like it's, it's a mind fuck, and I get it. That's why people so stuck in like people love stuff like love and hip hop because it's so relatable. They don't even know that they're doing the shit because it's like second nature. So it's weird. It's yeah. real weird. And we ain't asking no bigger questions either. It, we, it's just normal. It's just like, oh yeah, okay, this is this is life. And it's just like, no, you realize that you're supposed to be learning a lesson from this thing, right? I, it's not I to just, take it. I watch, <laughs> I watch motherfuckers watch the episode of Love Hip Hop, laugh at that and go say, yeah, I couldn't do no shit like that. I ain't taking no shit like that. Turn it off and have the same fucking life. And I'm like, I thought this shit wasn't going on, but hey, whatever. <laughs> right, right. It's the self-awareness for me. It, it you, ain't there. You cooler than it. And then you hop into it like you ain't going for the same weird ass shit. Like, all right, whatever. It's telling you how you ain't even got a trip off this shit because it, it don't even matter. I don't even know how do you hop in a whole different consciousness while you looking at the TV. <laughs> oh, I could never deal with no stuff how like that. Hop right back into it. Like, huh? Like, how the fuck? Nigga, we watched the whole episode. Nigga, get beat up outside. Yeah, he shouldn't have walked that way. And when he came that way, y'all hit back and hit him in his face. Then he walked right outside, dude, walk around and beat him up on the floor. He's like, what the fuck was you just watching on it? The- all right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, see. Man, it's- pick up on the, like, all right. Not picking up on the patterns, but I mean, picking up, ooh, picking up on the patterns is its own um, whole beast in itself. Because, like, a lot of the stuff that we deal with in life is patterns and us repeating patterns because we're not actually identifying what those particular patterns are. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what got me over relationships at a young age? Yeah. I taught myself since I was a little kid, I had girlfriends, right? Like, uh-huh. And I used to always like break up, they'll break up with me or something like that. And I used to feel some type of way, but I was young. So could nobody answer this because I used to watch the grown-ups around me go through the same shit. I'm like, I don't even need to be talking to them because they doing the same thing <laughs> I don't want to do. So I'm watching this movie, ATL. He mm-hmm. told T.I., it's just a feeling. That's all it is. No matter who make you feel that way, it's just a feeling. I said, thank you, bro. It's just the feeling, and I just take that with with life, man. Like, man, I'm not finna let like. It's just a feeling, like that's it. Like, for instance, I'm not finna watch something and be like, "Dang, bro, his heart broke because his girl cheated on him." Man, fuck that bitch, bro. Then hop off and argue with somebody on the phone because my feelings hurt because she got caught with somebody. Like, nah, I just watch how to get over it. It's just the feeling. That's yeah. it. Don't take it to heart, man. Do your thing. And I'm, gotta be the end right. of the I'm still breathing. That's what matters. This. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. We make stuff way harder than it gotta be. You know what I'm saying? People walk away from situations like that and be like, man, all girls be cheating. They all be lying. Like, I'm just finna break hearts for the rest of my life because I got hurt by that one person at one time in that one situation. And it's just like, you realize, like, it ain't got to be the same old story over and over again. But the only thing that's going to change the story is what you do with it. (laughs) got to be, man. It has to be. Like, it's how you got to feel about the situation, how you going to change about it. Because it might happen a thousand more times, but shit, you... But if you different, it ain't, it's, you, you done with it. You ain't dealing with it on the same level no more. I'm telling you, I used to chase hot girls and be dealing with hot girl problems. And then I'm sitting here like, damn, I'm tired of dealing with hot girls. That's because, nigga, you are a regular ass nigga. You like to do regular ass shit. Why don't you go find a regular ass girl to do regular ass shit? Like, for real. I knew. Stop- <laughs> <laughs> you was out here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rizzo, what you doing? Man, you don't even want to. 
you out here, you say, you know what, I like the 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 the, the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. I like the ones that's gonna put me through hell. Give me a love and hip hop type girl. Like, nah, what are you doing? Nigga. You know what's funny? Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was a little different because I was a little fat boy, right? Yeah. And I used to tell myself before I get a girlfriend, I used to see the type of girl I want and be like, I want that type of girl. I that was now, me. I will, that I was will me. get that type of girl and don't like her no more. I'd be like, oh shit. Yeah. If I would have known this, I just like, I don't need none of that, bro. That's why I don't need to be just out here tripping off nothing no more. It's like, whatever whatever comes, it's going to come. I ain't out here scouting about the couch. Ego going hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ego going hard. I was very much that person. be like, oh, I like you. I want you. And I would go I would go right over there and get exactly what it was that I'm asking for. I guess that's the sign that I was chosen, too. Because it's just like guys like, oh, yeah, that's what you want. Oh. Go ahead. Go try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> That's another thing that happened to me when uh, diabetes hit hard. This, when I say it took me under, uh, it took me under. Uh, it uh, it wouldn't give me erections for a minute. Oh, when I say, take me to the king, I didn't give a fuck. I was drinking, smoking. I, man, hold on, man. What am I here for? You done I took everything get- I love and stuff. Hey, you you know how bad that is to get horny like at the top of your body ain't, ain't nothing going on but us like what is this? That was the weirdest time. I said yeah, this yeah, buddy. Hey, God telling me now nah, because you gotta get it right. You gotta get it all the way right. Cause that one right there. Fuck the vision. Fuck the leg. <laughs> fuck the way. But when it took that away, that was the weirdest time I had. Yeah, cause yeah. I have the hot gear right there, and my heart will drop when they be like, "Come on, man, for what? Tell me you on your period, cause we can't do nothing but talk right now." <laughs> <laughs> I got this good conversation for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I fast for 21 days, right? Cause I'm listening to Doctor C. Well, I I was supposed to fast more than that, but I only went 21. Cause I damn it was croak but yeah i woke up one day just like he said i was back up back at i i, I was like martin on uh bad boys too uh-huh. call the wife up baby i'm like i'm back so after <laughs> that i was really on the uh the uh i was really on the cannabis really in a meditation really mm-hmm. eating clean i'm really trying to work out i'm really taking the black seed or i'm like i'm back baby. i'm back yeah i'm talking about i I sat in the uh, closet one time and boo-hoo crying. I'm like, man, hold on, man. This I'm too young for this. What's going on? I got something hot right here, baby. Like, <laughs> she looking at me. I'm looking at her. I'm all teary Like, yeah, my granddaddy just died, man. <laughs> man that been dead for years. <laughs> would it be there like you know and it's it's so crazy it's just like we take it we take for granted like how we treat our body it's like what well, right. how you treat your body is exactly what it's gonna get you in return man that was the wildest kind of, like when i say i went through all the worst shit early so i just know how to treat life and people and individuals man mm-hmm. i watch it i know my cycle you know what i'm saying my cycle was always ego and it was gonna keep me stagnant in life and once i overcame that i'm straight yep yep it all comes full circle in the end that's crazy be like you go through it you get through it and it's just like oh okay i know what that was for now i never would have seen you doing podcasts you was too gq smooth like (laughs) you you want to put on your little clothes and do your thing on the weekend yeah out of here yeah i honestly like you know what i'm saying i used to play my little game i used to play like i was shy or whatever like do do my little thing do my little thing or whatever and be gone gone by my business somewhere minding my business i might smoke a little something whatever whatever and be be out of here but that's just what it meant for me like you know what i'm saying you you go through all of those things like you go through those low points it leads you to your purpose and you realize like who you really been the whole time Right. See, and that's why I laugh. I say, damn, Marissa got a podcast. You damn near had to know her for her to really just talk to you. Cause she I sure would. You crazy. 
to nobody. Like, yeah, I... <laughs> and trying to figure out why people think I'm so standoffish. Like, mm. your <laughs> brother was more the talker. <clears throat> Bruh. <laughs> It really was like you know what I'm saying he open to everybody but for me it's just like yeah I'll talk to you but you gotta talk to me first and then if you talk to me first I gotta like you too Cause yeah, if it the- is a lot to come with it that's <laughs> me other than that I'm real awkward and quiet at first yeah yeah you not finna see me but God was like nah you meant to be seen I, like, I put you I put you out here for a bigger purpose like you supposed that's to be helping the people you are like that's what I'm saying that's what I didn't like it's like I was the most extroverted introvert you will ever know. I was out there, but then hold on. If I don't know you, you might not get that side of me. Because if I feel like, because I got a big personality. For me to be a guy, like, if I show you all that too fast, then you probably try to take my kindness for weakness. Then mm-hmm. I got to. Then I gotta put my foot in the road. like, like, and I don't like that. Like, I always, I had to understand. Like, I used to question that as a kid. Like, why do I always have to fight one of these motherfuckers because they think I'm just a fat, light skinned person? Like this, this, like when I came to the city from the county, them motherfuckers laughed at me because I had talk, but they didn't know I came with a fight. We yeah. cool now, but before then, they just like. Ah uh, yeah, he just like nah, bro. I'm just nice. I like sharing with people X Y Z. I like seeing everybody eat. Abundance is our birthright. I've been like that since a kid. Right. I don't believe in ill ways for no reason. Like I just don't. Even my worst enemies right now. If it was a way for me to get them abundance and they just do their thing, hey man, go do your thing, bro. Cause I am at the end of the day. I, who am I, man, to tell you you ain't supposed to have like nine times out of ten? The reason you so fucked up is a trauma you ain't healed from and you don't know how and you don't know what the fuck going on I heard so if somebody can enlighten you some type of way your lower self wouldn't even be you gotta raise to your higher one. I'm mm-hmm. dealing with the lower version of you the higher you probably a cool individual you know what I'm saying right yeah, people yeah. Don't even, I look at people as frequency what frequency you on man yeah see and that, and that's where I used to mess up as a person because like I always like to see people higher selves like I look straight past that that lower version on the outside to the higher self and I would always kind of like shoot myself in the foot because it's just like you know what I'm saying like I see the higher version of you like I'm trying to help you get to that point but realizing like you know like sometimes you know people got to get there how they get there when they get there and you know what I'm saying? It's not for me to do. It's a blessing that I can see the higher version to, of you and mm-hmm. speak to that higher version of you, like, because that's what I'm here to do. But it's not fair for me to change that for you. You know what I'm saying? Learning how to respect people where they are in their process, because at one point in time, I was where you are and can understand what it's like to feel how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Even if my particular circumstances aren't the same, like I can understand that you are going through a certain stage of your experience right. and you know what I'm saying like this is the 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 manifestation of it in your reality right now that's it's scary too I ain't gonna lie to you I started on Brian Proctor when I started meditating mm-hmm. and he started saying shit like uh you can be wherever you want to be you can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it you will see yourself in places don't know how you're gonna get there don't worry about the how where when where like all of that so i'm like man if it's that easy dog i want to meet him and i'm like i'm gonna make myself meet him through meditation i bullshit you not i'm on instagram right Mm -hmm. one of his little people that work for him took a liking to like my what i be on i'm like uh, instagram and cannabis and i'm more so positive so he hit me up. He was actually trying to pitch to, like, try to get me to pay him for coaching. But I'm not paying you to, I'm not paying a motherfucker to tell me how to use my brain. It's my brain in my head. I'm going to show you I know how to use it. Then I'm going to shock your ass. So I kept on saying, nah, man, I'm not fucking with it. But we was talking. He put me on FaceTime with Bob Proctor. I said, fuck, nah. I don't oh, damn. Bob Proctor. <laughs> he on this motherfucker talking to me. So boom, he hang up. I still want paying for it though. I'm like, I, I, it's, I, I don't need to pay you for you to tell me how to think. Like I'm doing yeah. that money. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm making money. I need to use my brain power to try to make the damn money, not to pay you. So yeah. I went up and I. You didn't got this far, man. And then and then tell me why Bob Proctor did. Now I met him right before he died. That's with crazy. The power, with the power of my with the power of my brain. 
but it's weird though because I popped back up with the cannabis brain and I added them again because I because I uh defriended them to show him. I'm like, watch, I know how to use my brain. So now when I added them back, he's like, what the fuck, right? And he ordered some weed, some like uh, <laughs> uh some uh they'll take the gummies and shit. Oh yeah. 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 I said, see now look at this. I told you I ain't got to he's like, you know, most people they don't know that. They don't know that the process is me telling them all you got to do is want it and then it's a mind thing and it's just going to come to them because they want to give it to me so much because they want to come up in life because that's what they truly believe because that's how the universe works i'm like yeah and yeah. you're not going to get me like that that's wasting my fucking time like yeah and it would never worked already because you can't suit me up enough to believe, to make me and my heart believe, say, I gotta pay this man $4,000 a month for me to overcome. Like, no. Well, if I can make $4,000 a month, it won't be going to you, and I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> amount of work it's gonna take me like, to get that much money to be able to pay you that, I done did what I needed to do already. You just lost me, because that same willpower I just put it and make that ah uh, you don't walk up a beach like i'm not even gonna talk to you no more i'm gonna meet you at the top of this one I, yeah. I think it's different like after i didn't did that that's when you truly know the power is really within you yeah yeah because like my like for me like when when i go through things that's why like even now like i don't fear the storms for real like it, it got to a point like my, my analogy for it is just like you standing in a hurricane and it's like i'm in the eye of a storm and it's just like, all right, I just gotta walk out the storm. Cause like, you know what I'm saying? It, like, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to get out at some point and I know it's not gonna hurt me. So I need to just walk through the storm. And it's just like, by the time I get done meditating and like staying calm and not panicking and stuff, the answer just like be dropping in my head. Like, okay, do this, do that. This right. who you need to talk to. Right. This what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like the answers are already in me. My only job is to literally stay calm and take the answers when they come right. and believe in them. Because where is it even going to come from? You know what I'm saying? If, if, if it's not for me, why Why is it even in my head? You ever had a bright idea and the shit work? We here right now. We own it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Two bright ideas that actually work. That's what I'm saying. It's already within. That's what church is. That yeah. church. Don't nothing can't no building make you unless you believe within first mm -hmm. like that's the game people don't see that in order to go get up and work out what you got to do believe within first to get up and go work out in order to go even go to that fucking job that they trick you in a scam you have to believe within to get the fuck up to go get scammed absolutely you gotta know that check coming at the end of the two weeks that's why you going so if you know you know what i'm saying if you know it's something to gain from, from the actions that you're taking, whether it be potential, like, you know what I'm saying? Who told you that you gonna get that check at the end of the two weeks? You you know what I'm saying? Who guaranteed the fact that you gonna get the check at the end of the two weeks? You just know that you right. gonna get the, the check because you put in the work. But see, when they at least, they comfort like the rest of the people with that little check, it eases them to where they feel like, okay, I ain't gotta do a lot of hard work. Cause people think they got to do a lot of hard work to make a lot of money with you. That ain't even true. Nope. All you got to do is find something you like to do and stick to it. That hard work becomes not hard because you like doing what you do. Mm -hmm. But they know that if you find that out, it's abundance out here for everybody and that fucks everything up because I like to tell people the truth. Like, Rockefeller, he even quote, and he put the, the school structure in place. Like, he told me, I like the world full of workers, not a world full of thinkers. Yeah. Now oh, that's the real okay. Rockefeller, not 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 Jay Z. No. Nah. Nah. The real Rockefeller. <laughs> 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 nah. <laughs> I'm talking about the real rich guy. <laughs> okay, we talk about the tycoon, not Jay Z. Yeah. Right. I'm talking yeah. about. But just knowing stuff like that, let me know it was it. Oh, okay. People ain't even dumb as they think they are. They just don't know a whole lot of simple shit because. They been psychology is a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I don't watch people tell a little lie to people, and then they like what I was just talking about the TikTok mm -hmm. dude. They, they say make seven hundred and fifty thousand a post. Man, so you mean to tell me he can wake up on any given day and just post six times 
and you, that, that that's just another five some meal there. He's just making more money than an athlete that's really working hard and like no, they ain't even got that type of money on that type of scale to pay nobody like that. But no. What they can do is get the psychology behind it go get more subscribers because it's just so believable because we see him all the time. We know he get money. He got a whole lot of TikTokers. He ain't gonna stop. Oh shit! So what they gonna do is cut him probably a, a check for an M just to say that. Yep. We gonna give you that one time, but we just gonna say you make that a post. You know we gonna say, hell yeah! And then for you not to open your mouth, we gonna pay you that probably yeah. annually. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Cause now we gonna get not only are we gonna get people coming to your page and your post we also gonna get a bunch of people that think that they can recreate this and do the same thing so they on our platform and we just gonna keep running the same game the same game but it's i've learned by running my own business once a motherfucker just people believe in the things that they don't achieve just default it's like fuck no bro just because dude say he got a lemonade stand don't mean he know how to make real like no that don't mean the shit good that don't mean he an expert you don't know like you gotta really sell me mm-hmm. like, hell yeah hell yeah man I'm, I'm gonna have to get you back here hold on <laughs> hold on I'm gonna have to get you back here you done got into a whole bunch of different stuff today man it just be me smoking and talking and moving and grooving I mean, that's the point of this here. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, like the whole concept of this uh, podcast came from the conversations that I used to have when I would just be with my friends, kick back and smoking and we talking about life and stuff like that. Mm, Say, how can we get this and catch all of these cool conversations? Yeah. <laughs> yup, yup, and that, and it, it, it was just a small seed, and it's just like, and and, and then again, like you get that thought, and you be like, man, I can't do no shit like that. Me, me, huh? But yeah. it grows, <laughs> especially if it's something you already like to do, and then you like me, you ain't finna let the situation tell you no. You you gonna mind over matter the whole trip. Yeah, yeah, cause like I said, God ain't gonna give you that seed for no reason. Man, I got pulled over with three pounds and same chores. I am black with tattoos and dreads. They let me go. I looked up at the sky. I said, oh, yeah, this shit for me. Uh-huh. And I pulled <laughs> off. Like, in any other situation, that was my time to go get booked and go to jail. Mm-hmm. That was the, that was That's regular standard procedure for black males to go get booked in jail. See, for me, I had my license going on. I got a company and, and the universe knew. Now, nah, he really tried. That's was his purpose. He really going to make somebody himself for that. So I didn't yeah. even, they didn't even take me. They didn't even take the weed. Yeah, because you, 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 you got good intentions. You're, it's not about it's not about the money per se. It's about the love for the it's about the love for the plant. The, the 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 healing properties of it you know what i'm saying you don't already said that it, exactly you know what i'm saying it's not about this is the thing that i'm finna do because it's gonna make me a bunch of money real quick and then like shit like jail and stuff like that it ain't for me because i know enough not to even like i think jail for chosen ones that need a little bit more straight you know i was gonna I mean? say you done done something you done, <laughs> you done, that's that point where you you going against them and you already know what you're supposed to be doing right you see i ain't got no greed or nothing in me i'm gonna take my fuck get some bread and break a barrier with everybody like i'm gonna figure out how to make this shit come for everybody and show you how to really you know what i'm saying articulate some shit on your own like that's I'm what i'm on person. yeah yeah i like giving things just to see how people react to it ain't that weird and ain't got a damn Okay. I really like buying certain people things just to see them, like, you know, reciprocate what I did for them, like, or just to see that they got something nice. Like, yeah. I don't know. I'm in a weird shit like that. Like, they say it's better to give than receive. Yeah. It was, it was, it was some weird shit that I did the other day. I remember I came home and I was with my dog and a lady, like, didn't have a dog on a leash. And the dog ran over. So I'm like, in my head, I already know how it be when you got a dog. Like, if I was to walk, if I was to like go away with my dog, then that other dog gonna run off. So I'm like, all right, me and her just gonna stand right here so the lady can come get her dog. Cause if the dog is just coming to see Ruby, Ruby then you know what I'm saying? We already know she ain't gonna go nowhere. And that's exactly what happened. So dog come, the lady come, but she don't grab her damn dog. 
So the dog run off. You know what I'm saying? So the dog mm-hmm. run off. And uh, she she chasing the dog around the apartment complex. And I'm like, I'm standing there and I'm like, so what you finna do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I'm like, so what you finna do? Or whatever. So I go in my I, I go in my apartment and I drop Ruby off. I come back out. I grab some dog treats or whatever. I was like, I see if I can get help because it's just like, look, if if my dog ran off, I would want somebody to help me. I wouldn't want nobody to just, you know what I'm saying, sit up here and look at me and be like, damn, that's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what I want. And it was just like, so I went back outside. And granted, I didn't see them after that, but I do know that the lady like got her dog or whatever because I saw them the next day. But it right. wasn't really about you know <laughs> what to be gained from it. It was like more like I, I want to be the person that I want in particular situations. Right. Like that's the person that I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the help that ain't you know I would want in particular situations. You know, like I don't really need nothing out of it just to be able to be in a position where I can help somebody else. Like right. that's a right. blessing. See, but sometimes though, I just be watching out because I know some weird shit be going on. See, that's what that's the thing about me, me and the universe be arguing about shit because he is sending a, a total stranger out of nowhere to be like, "Hey, bro, you will take me? Would you give me a ride?" Fuck, nah, you not getting in my car. But I would really want to if the world was a lot safer. But I, yeah, I, don't I would. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, it's one thing to be chosen, but I also know where I'm at though. Like, that's, man. Like, I had to pull my mom. She come in the snook. This lady's like, could you buy me? And she's going over there walking by. I'm like, man, get away from her. Talk to her from the floor, man. She might stab the people. It's crazy. <laughs> I just, yeah. I don't, I be so on the head sometimes because the world is actually crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it, 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 it's, it's crazy to see for real. And, but the part that I'm finding that's nice is like finding other people that, are on similar vibrations to give hope and like knowing that these other people are on similar things trying to help other people like I don't know I feel a shift I, I ain't gonna lie I feel like a, a little little shift like you know what I'm saying where things are happening I think people are starting to like the world getting wicked but people also waking up at the same time so <laughs> yeah a lot of people waking up on this it's like a shift going on it's weird cause it's so weird 10 years ago, I used to respect it. Like, used to look at, like, the whole God and the Jesus pieces and be like, oh, no, you can't talk about that because it's, like, holy. Now it's just, like, whatever. It's, like, a piece of, like, I don't need it. I'm yeah. going to, like, the the, the, the chakras and, pir- like, pyramid shit, uh, pineal gland type uh, stuff. Like, I'm off into that evil eye. Like, I'm okay. somewhere else with it. Tigers are out of my pocket right now. Like, like <laughs> I, I, I'm off in the crystals and you know what I'm saying? Like, no moon. I got smoking yeah. quartz. And, <laughs> <laughs> you be talking about a Jesus piece. I'll be like, nigga, that's so 2002. That's weird that I treat it like that. Now. Because I done found out the truth and I, it's like, man, everything they didn't tell us was a lie from the food and everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's all keeping us in an illusion. You know what I'm saying? You, it's all looking at an illusion. At one point in time, I would be scared to tell people that I think this way. Be like, oh, this shit is weird. I don't it's care. Like, I was going to die from McDonald's. I think this way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because what 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 has trying to keep y'all comfortable done for me? Nothing. 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 It don't even make us smile by ourselves. No. No, I don't. I don't wasted a paycheck before on a fake chain because it wasn't enough of a paycheck for a real chain. <laughs> you spend your money, you get it, and you don't feel nothing. You get to yourself and you like, what the fuck do this do besides no? I ain't got no more money. Right. And then I can't even go get a good pawn off this motherfucker because they might say, man, this gold plate, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so now you get less than what you less than what you even put into it in the first place. Out of ego, man, For dumb shit. Cause it, cause it look good, you know what I'm saying? We doing what we do because it look good, cause it sound good, cause it's the norm, it's the regular, and like that's the part that I even find funny about spirituality because you know some people probably I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it is getting pretty popular, but like 
this ain't a product of popularity. This is a product of seeing it work in my own life. This right. working for me, you know what I'm saying? Actually having to experience what it's like to go through these transitions and energy shift and to get right. the signs, the synchronicities, the all of that, you know what I'm saying? The way that I feel when I fucking put this uh, crystal in my pocket, you know, like that's what I do, you know? I'm telling you, that's what I be on when people like, I don't know how to meditate. Man, at first I used to want to explain to people, but now it ain't got so easy. I'd be like, just sit, don't say shit, and don't let your thoughts take over you. You are in control of your thoughts, and they do not have control over you, bro. That's it. If it's like a real, bro, if you have a thought and you don't like it, let it sit there and let it pass and then think of something else because it's just a thought. It ain't you. Yep. And then you can go right on along. That's how people don't know how to control their emotions. The motherfucker get so caught up on the thought and go act on it. Like, I'm not acting on shit that's gonna have me in jail someplace. I know I don't want to be. Bruh! That's how I deal with fear. Like, that's why, you know what I'm saying? Because I still get scared of certain stuff sometimes. But, like, when I think about fear, it's just like, I'm finna let an emotion run my life. You crazy. Let's go. Like, okay, yeah, I'm scared. Now I let's like go. That. I like that. I got to use that in the uh, terminology when I don't want to do certain shit because it's just an emotion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want to let that get in my way. Yeah. Like, I'm going to let this emotion run my life. Like, you, you sound silly. Like, you, you sound silly. Like, stop. Like, yeah, my thing is, we supposed to be out here to help each other. We so divided down here on planet Earth with all these dumb ass religions. Like, nah, we lost, bro. Please, we just lost. We are. We are, but I think that's why it's a shift happening because, you know, it, it, when it gets too far, it gets too far. So I'm going on because I'm talking when I say it, like, religions are more evil now than the devil shit. Like, yeah, like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Like, you mean to tell me if I'm not XYZ, I just can't come around you? Like, yeah, y'all kind of fucked up. It right. was meant to only be y'all. Trust and believe it would have only been y'all. Like, it would have only just been that race of people create. Right. There's no, like, it's no one way to do anything. Like, we got whole life over here to do four seasons. Then you got one life that do cold year round. Then you got one that don't fucking snow. Now, all three of them is forms of life doing it differently, but it's all going to work effectively. Right. It's like, man, people be so stuck on just one thing. I don't I ain't that. We all meant to be different, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it be race, culture, you know what I'm saying? Individuals, period. Like, we all different. That's what I'm saying. Even when you come to me for cannabis, I'm going to say what you want. Indica, sativa, hybrid. We got purple. We got lemon. We got, do you want a flavor? The aroma, more turps. Like, what do you want? Low THC, a higher dosage? Like, how do you want it? Or if you don't want to smoke it, we got the edible version, the drink version, the tincture version. Like, it's different versions of the same shit that's on this, like, people, it's too much. Too much, I'm telling you. It's just like, man, it, it's a way to get what you need out of this life. It's just a matter of finding it and being honest about what works for you and what doesn't. <laughs> being honest about it, like, most. <laughs> Honesty is key. Honesty is key. But, man, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I ain't trying to keep you here all day. I man, I definitely appreciated the conversation. Feel free to come back anytime that you would like. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. We want to thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Thinker versus Speaker. I am Marissa the Thinker. You can find me at Marissa Y17 on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter when I feel it, but I never feel like it. And Marissa Yarbrough on Facebook. You want to let the people know where to find you? Again, just hit me up on Instagram. You can find me at my girl is M E Y E G U R L, or you can find me at Dre Dupree underscore on Instagram as well. All right, all right, all right. Anything you want to, anything else you want to say to the people before we get out of here? Just keep smoking. Okay, okay. <laughs> do what you do. Do what works for you, because we all different at the end of the day. All right. Uh, yeah, but um, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for coming through one more time. All right, no problem. All right, talk to you later.